Now we start things off in Hong Kong. Now showcasing the only fair in Asia with collectible fine art from both the east and west. The selection is worth a total of more than 320 million U.S. dollars. Kathy Yang takes a sneak peek at some of the stars of this three-day event called Fine Art Asia. If only these walls could talk. In one corner, a magnificent diamond brooch. It's emeralds originally from a diadem given by Emperor Napoleon to his wife, Marie Louise. In another corner, Pablo Picasso, worth over eight and a half million U.S. dollars. Not too far from it, an 18th century gilt bronze sculpture of the defender of Tibet, worth over five million U.S. dollars. And a few paces away, it's fast forward to the 20th century. It's a crucial part of Chinese art history, as you can see here in the artworks, where Chinese artists have already embraced Western influences. Calvin Hoy is co-chairman and director at Fine Art Asia. Well, this painting is one of my favorite um, artworks in Fine Art Asia 2013. And Ai Xuan is the master of Chinese 20th century realism paintings. This painting features Ai Xuan's signature um, portraits of Tibet's uh, ordinary people. They may live in poverty, but look at them, at their face. They are true, honest, and they struggle, and they have a lot of energy and a lot of hope. Art Nouveau also has its place in this exhibit. Arlie Soka, owner of the world-renowned gallery Lillian Nassau in New York, brought with her antique stained glass lamps by one of the most prominent decorative artists in the U.S. What's demand like for the fine art pieces that you've brought here for the Chinese consumer? It seems to be increasing. Uh, you know, I think we, we didn't really know what to expect the first time we came, and now we're finding that um, uh, people are very attracted to what we are selling. They want to have the original Tiffany Studios lamps, but we brought the real thing, and people who collect antiques want to have the real thing. And how much would they fetch for the real thing? Uh, well, the lamps that we brought here range in price from 75,000 U.S. dollars to 450,000 U.S. dollars. But if buying any of these fine pieces of art isn't in the plans, seeing them this close may be well worth the visit. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.